Week six of college football, Iowa playing host to Purdue in a homecoming date on Saturday afternoon inside Kinnick Stadium. Before we get to my score prediction, my pick for the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Purdue Boilermakers, we look at the rest of the docket for college football week six. We start with LSU taking on Missouri. LSU a five and a half point favorite. I've got LSU straight up. I've got LSU against the spread. They win this game by at least two scores. Texas taking on OU in the Red River rivalry. Oklahoma looked really good last week against Iowa State, at least in the second half. The Cyclones were right there with the Sooners through about a quarter and a half. I've got Texas winning this game. I've got OU covering. I just expect it to be close. I do think the Longhorns pull it out by a field goal. Maryland taking on Ohio State. Maryland, 19 and a half point underdogs. They're undefeated on the season. Ohio State has not been maybe quite as impressive as I would have anticipated heading into the season. Maybe a bit of a disrespectful line if you're Maryland, but boy, they're on the road at the horseshoe. I've got Maryland covering the 19 and a half. I've got Ohio State winning this game, probably somewhere between 10 and 15 points with the winning margin. Wazoo taking on UCLA. I've got Wazoo pulling the upset on the road. I've got them covering their three and a half point underdogs. I've got them covering and winning straight up. Syracuse, they've been a bit of a surprise this year. Had a good win over Purdue, a team Iowa plays today. Syracuse taking on North Carolina. North Carolina, nine and a half point favorites. I think North Carolina wins. I think Syracuse covers, and I went back and forth on this. I could see this going either way. I've got Syracuse keeping it relatively close, and it will probably come down to the final possession for the Orange, but I've got Syracuse covering the nine and a half. Wake Forest taking on Clemson. Clemson, 20 and a half point favorites. And I like the Tigers to win. I like them to cover the 20 and a half. They win big over the Demon Deacons. Virginia Tech taking on Florida State. Boy, look at this. FSU, 23 and a half point favorites. I've got Virginia Tech against that number. I could be regretting this later today, but I've got Virginia Tech against the number. Florida State wins this game straight up. Jeff Brom and Louisville. Taking on Notre Dame. Louisville playing host to Notre Dame. Notre Dame six and a half point road favorites. I've got Notre Dame to win. I've got them winning big. Uh, been a great start for Jeff Brom at Louisville. I think their success at least is paused this week with the Irish going on the road and winning comfortably. Alabama taking on Texas A&M. This is maybe the matchup of the week in the SEC. I've got Bama winning. I've got them covering. They're just two and a half point favorites. They are on the road. I've got the Crimson Tide on both notes. Kentucky taking on Georgia. This would be the other big game in the SEC, but Georgia 14 and a half point favorites, and I think they cover that number. They win big over a Kentucky team that's been good early this year. Kentucky never really schedules difficult games in the non-conference, it seems like to me. Now, maybe Mark Rogers will criticize me for saying that, but I've got Kentucky losing against Georgia, and I've got them losing big. Arkansas taking on Ole Miss. I've got Ole Miss winning at home. I think Arkansas covers the Rebels' 12.5-point favorites at home. Minnesota taking on Michigan. Michigan, 18.5-point favorites. Minnesota has been weird, weird, weird this year. Of course, that loss to Northwestern in overtime, they beat Nebraska uh, in their first week of competition. It's just been an odd year for the Big Ten West, and you saw that Illinois, if you saw the Illinois-Nebraska game last night, not impressive from either team. I've got Michigan winning this game. I've got Minnesota covering 18 and a half is a lot, but they are at the big house. I'll take Minnesota against the number, but Michigan winning straight up. And that brings us to Iowa and Purdue. The Hawkeyes playing host to a new look Boilermaker squad, which features a former Hawkeye and Tyrone Tracy now playing tailback for the Boilers. Purdue's quarterback, the Texas transfer Hudson card has been really good. He's mobile. I was going to have to account for his legs. I think Iowa wins this game and i said this earlier in the week, I've had kind of a weird feeling about this game. It's just kind of hard to pinpoint as far as a prediction. Obviously, Deacon Hill, this will be his first career start. Iowa still without Luke Lachey. It looks like Caleb Johnson will be back. Still no Jazz Patterson, though, at running back for the Hawkeyes. I think Iowa wins this game by a field goal, all right? And it's a two-and-a-half point spread. Iowa, two-and-a-half point favorites. I've got Iowa 20, Purdue 17. (laughs) Iowa 20, Purdue 17, on the leg of a Drew Stevens last minute field goal, the Hawkeyes move to five and one in lead up to Iowa, Wisconsin in Madison next week. I'll be live with you for Iowa post game with Coach Don Patterson. Tune into the channel live after Iowa Purdue for post game coverage right here 
from the Hawkeye of the Storm. Enjoy another college football Saturday.